Hi and welcome. This short video is going to show you how to bring an AutoCAD drawing into Master Frame and use it as a background wallpaper for creating your frame. So you can minimize Master Series and here's a typical AutoCAD drawing of a building with different page views and the likes. You can use that but what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use a reduced version of this. I've just taken a copy of that file and just cut out all the garbage, kept myself just the two views and nothing else and that speeds things up inside Master Series. There's less for it to peruse and um, work with. So it's called House Drawing Edit It Down. Cut Down, Edit It Down. So it's going to save that and exit from that. So into master series and we go into master frame I'm going to take a brand new file call it CAD layer 101 and create. So we're going to, going to work from a snap grid no pre-existing drawing and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to viewing and CAD layer and we're going to choose a CAD layer and we'll choose a path to this edit drawing and now we can choose what objects you want to see and don't want to see so I could for example turn off fittings, fixtures floor levels and doors and maybe windows and just move to next and I'm going to select the shift so clear selection shift click drag release so that's my view that I want to work with I want to set my anchor point so clear my anchor point Hold the control and there I go, I've got my little X and I say finish. And here I come with my drawing inserted into my CAD layer. So now I want to create members and you can see the origin is roughly here. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to create a beam between the, this opening. Now I'm going to turn off the grid line because I don't need both at the same time. And I want to create a member that comes from the centre line here and starts a 100mm in. So that or 200mm in, let's say 100mm in. That can be fun in games but the easiest way to do that is really to cheat a little bit and come across not point one draw yourself a member down and we'll use that midpoint and then do the same over here and down and then we can just go from here straight to here to create a member and we can just delete those little component members by redrawing them and sometimes you need to do a delete on we'll delete that later, we'll tidy that up later. So that's our first member in. We want to run a member along the front here and we're going to run it along and um, we want to start over here so I'm going to luckily I have an extra line here that gives me my run point so it's the cavity of a hundred mil and the has put a divider line in but so we can start there quite easily and I'm going to run along horizontally until I come either to the centre or to the end of that and that's that member done. Now I want to think about the egg other members we need to support this wall all the way across to here so I'm just going to come down up here and again I have the extra point I need from there 
and I'm just going to take it all the way down to there. And now we have a difficulty trying to run a line along this center line, and we can do it from here across. But a little trick sometimes is just to do a diagonal first, and then you get your center line that you need. And again, this is going to come here, and I'm just going to push it in that distance we need. And I can just come back out here. Draw those in. And now we need to put in, we're supporting this wall as well. So again, we need to think about how we draw this. And the wall starts here. We have the wall here. So I'm going to come up 100 and draw my little guide. And then I'm going to go from there straight down to there and from there straight on to where we're going to have our support and in this case I've drawn it there and we should really be putting it so they join each other so I'm going to take this one redraw it and then come across so that it's attaching so that's how easy it is to create members using a CAD layer and all tidied up for you now in this example, you would need to put in additional members to tie in your external leaf. So you need to put a wee member coming back in here. Um, we probably need to get rid of that, as I said earlier. But working with the CAD drawing, that is the basics uh, laid out for you. Naturally, I've been working with a default section. And where you want to do area loading, you might want to, for the area loading, just put in some dummy trimmer members to back that up and that will allow you to get your areas working properly likewise we'll have a dummy use that as a tracking point we should there we go and another dummy so that just closes that so those are dummy members for allowing me to apply area loading quite easily and likewise we would probably put a dummy member between the two of those because they're individually simply supported but for area loading front and back we may need those so very very straightforward and then you can go and add in your columns and everything as you require but that is turning off our little floor plan as you can see that one member that was a construction member I'm just going to say delete and I'll just delete that member and apply and there we go so simple easy and very flexible